Okay, so here's a video on geometric mean. Um, we want to find, we've got this triangle with an altitude drawn in, and a, you know, a right triangle with an altitude, and we want to find the values of y, x, and z, where the length here is 5, and the other length is 12, so you've got 17 across the bottom. And actually what you're going to use is similar triangles. So um, I'm going to pull up a site uh, that, uh, just for their purposes, I think it's called uh, uh, mathwarehouse.com. And I've been trying to build this myself, but I just haven't had time to with GeoGebra. But basically you've got the same situation here. And what you want to do is break this. There's three triangles here, and we want to break them apart. There's a little one, a medium one, and a big one. And you want to break it apart into into three triangles. So there you have the little triangle. And notice how that came out. And then the medium triangle, they just pull straight down and out of the way. And the, notice how everything's labeled. Now the big one, you might have to watch. Okay. So now we've got to pull the big one apart. So that notice they're all in the same orientation with a 90 degree angle to the bottom left. That's what you're going to have to do with these. And then here's the big one. Notice how they rotate it and then flip it. And so there is, so there is your three right triangles that are sim all similar. So we're going to use that to solve this problem. So back to our problem, let's do the same thing. So we've got this red triangle here. Okay, so that would, I'll, I'll rotate it down just like it was in the, on the website. And so there's 90. That would make this 5, this y, and this x. Okay, so once you have that triangle, now let's pull the medium one down, and I'll do it in blue. I'll kind of outline it so you can see what triangle I'm dealing with. So there's my medium triangle. I'll slide it down. And it slides down just like in the orientation it is. It just translates down and to the right. So that's X, that's Z, and that's 12. And now for the big one, and I'm going to actually draw it kind of small, but I'm going to flip it and slide it over here. But imagine this is the big one, but notice the same orientation I'm putting it in. And so the short leg, so this is the short leg here, is 5, or Y, excuse me. The long leg, right beside the 90 degree angle, is Z. And the hypotenuse, which we said, that's the 12 and the 5, that's 17. And so now we have three similar triangles, so we can set up proportions. Okay, so first off, you need to find two triangles. You only work with two triangles at a time. And I'm going to pull a green marker out here, and we'll work with, you just start doing, looking at them to see if you can find... Um, to see if you can find values for x. So um, let's start with x actually. So here's an x and here's an x and look at where they're at, you know, where their corresponding parts are. So we're only going to deal with the red triangle and the blue triangle. Notice x goes to 5 and x goes to 12. Okay. And so there's our proportion. We can set up a, a triangle proportionality out of that. So I'm going to extend the page and leave those triangles so we can see them. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, so the proportion would look something like this, and we'll do it in black. So if I start with the red triangle, that would be 5 com is corresponding with x, and x is corresponding with 12. <clears throat> so, um, so that is kind of the same stuff we've been doing. Now you just cross multiply to solve for x. So x squared is equal to 60. And then you root both sides. 
And I'd like you to keep the answers in terms of um, in terms of uh, radicals or exact answers. I don't want a decimal answer here. So you're going to break the 60 down. 60 breaks into 3 and uh, 20, uh, 4 and 5, 2 and 2. So there's a pair of 2's with 5 and 3 left over. So we know x is 2 root 15. Okay, so that's for x, and we're done with that part of it. Now we need to find y. So we'll go back and find all of our y's. So it looks like we've got a y. I'll do it in green again. We've got a y here and a y here. So now let's just do our comparisons with y. So notice uh, this y matches up with the black 17, black triangle in the 17, and the red 5 matches up with the y on the black triangle. So there's our next proportion. So when we do this one, we're going to do um, red, the small red triangle to the big black triangle. And it would be 5 over y equals y over 17. So 5 over y equals y, whoops, that's not a y, y over 17. And you do the same thing, cross multiply. So y squared is equal to 5 times 17. And so I have to see it to do it mentally. So 35, uh, so 85. So we, uh, and the square root shouldn't be there. <laughs> y squared is equal to 5 times 17. And then so y is equal to 85, I do believe, unless I messed that up. And then you root both sides. So we know y is equal to the square root of 85. The thing is, 85 doesn't break down into any pairs, so we're done with that. So it's about 9 point something. So the last thing to find is z. So we need to just go back, look for where our z's are located. And I'm, we're located here and here. And so we're only dealing with the blue and the black triangle. And so z, this z, goes with this 17. And this z goes with this 12. So those are the corresponding parts. So it doesn't matter if you go black to blue, blue to black. 17 over z equals z over 12. 17 over z equals z over 12. And you cross multiply like we've been doing. And z squared equals 17 times 12. And I'm going to actually leave it like that. You could go ahead and multiply those out and then break them down. But uh, they're already multiplied, so let me show you a little trick. So that's all square rooted. And so z is equal to, these cross out, that's the reason we root both sides. z is equal to, now all we got to break down is the 12. So that's 4 and 3, 2 and 2. So we got 2 that's going to come out front. And then square root of 17 times 3, that doesn't pair up. So that would be 51. And so we've got 2 root 51 for z. And we've found x, y, and z. So that's uh, where geometric mean comes into play as well. So I didn't really use the word in here, but at least you can solve the problems. And we'll talk about geometric mean uh, later on in the, in the course. Okay, good luck. Hope this helps. And if you have questions, feel free to comment or uh, anything you, I guess you want to think about. So see you later. Good luck. Hope, have a good one.